Hi everyone, my name is Abu Bakr and I lead the development of open source applications at Hugging Face. Today I'll be sharing a new library that we just released uh, called Trackio for experiment tracking. So if you are familiar with libraries like Neptune AI, Weights and Biases, it's the same idea. You are training or fine tuning a machine learning model and you want to track certain experiments, log them, visualize them in a, an intuitive way in an intuitive dashboard. So Trackio is just like that except for one key difference. It is completely free and completely open source. The entire stack is completely open source, as I'll show in just a moment. So why um, might you want to use Trackio? A, you don't want to pay for experiment tracking. That's great. B, you want something that's super portable, super lightweight. You can easily modify it. You can extend it to track the kind of things that you care about. You can customize it. That's another great reason to, to, to use it. The third reason is it's built on top of Hugging Face. Uh, spaces and data sets so you get a lot of that really nice hugging face infrastructure that uh, is very reliable uh, and is uh, kind of you know naturally you know you can collaborate on it you can share it within your hugging face org and things like that so plan for 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 this short video is first i'll show some example code of how you can use uh trackio and and then b i'll show an actual demo of what that dashboard looks like and then finally the last kind of thing is uh, i'll talk about future directions what we're hoping to do with Trackio. So let's get started. One great thing about Trackio is that if you have used weights and biases before, the weights and biases client, WANDB, the Python library, the Trackio is meant to be a drop-in replacement. So you can you literally uh, do import Trackio as WANDB, as I've done here, and then use the same exact code that you have before. Uh, the, the login code is exactly the same, but now you have, uh, you're kind of logging with Trackio instead. So here, that's exactly what I've done. I've imported Trackio as WANDB. And then I've, uh, and then when you start a run or start a project, uh, you can do trackio.init. You provide the project name. You can provide a run name. If you don't provide it, it gets generated automatically. You can provide a config, and then you train. And then finally, at, at some point, you at some point in the step, you can log certain metrics. So that's that's what we do here. And then finally, you do finish uh, if you'd like to kind of conclude that training is done. So this is, you know, very familiar if you've used weights and biases or really most of these experiment tracking libraries, they all follow a very similar API. So what happens when we actually run this? So let's go ahead and do that. Why not? So if, uh, uh, I think it's under the examples directory. I called it fake training.py. Okay. So when I go ahead and run this, you'll see a couple of things. One is, oops, let's fix that here. I think I, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, let's do this again. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this live demos. Okay, great. <laughs> um, okay, so what we have here is you'll see that as you're running this, uh, first of all, you know, Trackio is kind of running in the background and you're logging metrics to Trackio. If you wanna actually see the, the dashboard, you should run this in, let's say a separate terminal window. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this again, just so we can see this. So, uh, so this is a, a new project ID here. I'm gonna go ahead and run this in another terminal window. Uh, so let's go ahead and type, type this and this will launch the Trackio dashboard and you can see here metrics are being you know logged in real time you can see this in your uh, Trackio dashboard which is running completely locally and that is one big differentiator between Trackio and other uh, experiment tracking libraries Trackio is designed to be local first so all of your data logging data is stored in a SQLite database locally on your drive um, and the dashboard also runs as a Gradio application that's running locally. And of course, the dashboard supports things that you'd expect, being able to toggle on specific runs and off specific runs. You can you know, change the smoothing factor of the curves, change the, change the x-axis, log scale, so on, filter curves using regex, things like that, if you only care about accuracy metrics, for example. Okay, great. So we have that. Uh, it also has some administrative features. So let's say you want to delete some runs so you've started off with a few warm-up runs or kind of you know dummy runs you can kind of delete that and and things like that great so that um uh, that is kind of a short illustration of the track your dashboard simple lightweight gets it done and what you can also do by the way is again this is local first uh, everything works locally just fine but sometimes you might actually want to persist your um experiment data to a hugging face uh, space. Uh, you might want to persist it somewhere. And what, what, what tra Trackio lets you do is persist it to a hugging face space. So all you have to do, the only difference is when you do uh, dot init and you specify the project name, also specify a space ID, uh, which can be like a username slash 
space ID or just the space ID uses your logged in uh, username or it can be an org name slash a space ID as well. So once you specify that, uh, let me show kind of what that looks like. If I was to rerun this, I would get something like this. So it's the same, same dashboard, but it's running on spaces. And here kind of the nice thing is that the data gets backed up every five minutes to a persistent hugging face data set as well. So the space is public by default, although you can make it private um, and depending on your org settings, uh, whereas the data set is private by default and you can change that as well. So there you have it. And then by the way, I'll also mention one thing here is tra uh, Trackio is great to be like embedded. So if you wanna embed Trackio, uh, the dashboard in your own blog posts or things like that, uh, even like static like GitHub pages or anything of that sort, you can, you can do that. Uh, we have the embed code right here, very convenient for you to use. And it just embeds this current current view here. Um, and with that, I'll, I'll kind of pause on uh, talking about what we've, what we've built already. Um, I'll just quickly mention that we have documentation. So if you go track, uh, track your docs, you'll see a lot of uh, kind of, you know, the API reference, things like that, guides. And the API reference also includes things like track your table, image, video. So you can also log uh, images, video, tables, all of that. And there's examples within the Trackio repo, the GitHub repo that show how to do every single one of those things. Um, so yeah, there's a lot you can uh, a lot of stuff that you can do with Trackio already. What we're hoping to do in the next um, uh, few weeks uh, is continue to kind of let you do everything that you can do with other experiment tracking libraries within Trackio to can make, make it more uh, fully featured. Also improve the design, um, and, you know, get it working really reliably in, in you know, uh, any environment that you might be in, Colab Notebooks, uh, Jupyter Notebooks, already works quite well, actually. But uh, what we are looking for is your feedback. If you, this is very much a community-driven project, it came out of the um, research community at Hugging Face, but we're, we're committed to making it uh, as, as useful for the wider com community as possible. So if you have suggestions, Feel free to create an issue. Feel free to open up a, a PR. One of the cool things about Trackio is that the code base is entirely in Python. And that's thanks to, it's built on top of Gradio. The front end is built on top of Gradio. And a lot of the uh, communication is through the Hugging Face Hub uh, library as well as the Gradio client. So allows us to write everything in Python, which is fantastic from a development perspective. Also from a contribution perspective, would love to get your PRs on how we can make Gradio, uh, Trackio more useful for you. Thanks so much.